How can Uber deliver food and always arrive on time or a few minutes before? How do they match riders to drivers so that you can always find a Uber? All that while also managing all the drivers. We will answer these questions in this video with their arrival time prediction algorithm Deep ETA. Deep ETA is Uber's most advanced algorithm for estimating arrival times using deep learning. Used both for Uber and Uber Eats, Deep ETA can magically organize everything in the background so that riders, drivers and food are fluently going from point A to point B as efficiently as possible. Many different algorithms exist to estimate travel on such road networks, but I don't think any are as optimized as Uber's. Previous arrival time prediction tools, including Uber, were built with what we call shortest path algorithms, which are not well suited for real-world predictions since they do not consider real-time signals. For several years, Uber used XGBoost, a well-known gradient-boosted decision tree machine learning library. XGBoost is extremely powerful and used in many applications, but was limited in Uber's case as the more it grew, the more latency it had. They wanted something faster, more accurate and more general to be used for drivers, riders and food delivery. All orthogonal challenges that are complex to solve even for machine learning or AI. Here comes Deep ETA, a deep learning model that improves upon XGBoost for all of those. Oh, and I almost forgot, here's the sponsor of this video, uh, myself. Please take a minute to subscribe if you like the content and leave a like. I'd also love to read your thoughts in the comments or join the Discord community LearnAI together to chat with us. Let's get back to the video. Deep ETA is really powerful and efficient because it doesn't simply take data and generate a prediction. There's a whole preprocessing system to make this data more digestible for the model. This makes it much easier for the model as it can directly focus on optimized data with much less noise and far smaller inputs, a first step in optimizing for latency issues. This preprocessing module starts by taking map data and real-time traffic measurements to produce an initial estimated time of arrival for any new customer request. Then, the model takes in these transformed features with the spatial origin and destination and time of the request as a temporal feature. But it doesn't stop here. It also takes more information about real-time activities like traffic, weather, or even the nature of the request, like delivery or rideshare pickup. All of this extra information is necessary to improve from the shortest path algorithms we mentioned that are highly efficient but far from intelligent or real-world proof. And what kind of architecture does this model use? You guessed it, a transformer. Are you surprised? Because I'm definitely not. And this directly answers the first challenge, which was to make the model more accurate. I've already covered transformers numerous times on my channel, so I won't go into how it works in this video, but I still wanted to highlight a few specific features for this one in particular. First, you must be thinking, but transformers are huge and slow models. How can it be of lower latency than XGBoost? Well, you will be right. They've tried it and it was too slow, so they had to make some changes. The change with the biggest impact was to use a linear transformer, which scales with the dimension of the input instead of the input's length. This means that if the input is long, transformers will be very slow, and this is often the case for them with as much information as routing data. Instead, it scales with dimensions, something they can control that is much smaller. Another great improvement in speed is the discretization of inputs, meaning that they take continuous values and make them much easier to compute by clustering similar values together. Discretization is regularly used in production to speed up computation as the speed it gives clearly outweighs the error the duplicates values may bring. Now there is one challenge left to cover, and by far the most interesting is how they made it more general. Here is the complete deep ETA model to answer this question. There is the earlier quantization of the data that are then embedded and sent to the linear transformer we just discussed. Then we have the fully connected layer to make our predictions and we have a final step to make our model general, the bias adjustment decoder. It will take in the predictions and the type features we mentioned at the beginning of the video containing the reason the customer made a request to Uber to orient the prediction to a more appropriate value for a task. They periodically retrain and deploy their model using their own platform called Michelangelo, which I'd love to cover next if you're interested. If so, please let me know in the comments. And voila, 
This is what Uber currently use in their system to deliver and give rides to everyone as efficiently as possible. Of course, this was only an overview and they used more techniques to improve the architecture, which you can find out in their great blog post linked below if you're curious. I also just wanted to note that this was just an overview of their arrival time prediction algorithm and I am in no way affiliated with Uber. I hope you enjoyed this week's video covering a model applied to the real world instead of a new research paper. And if so, please feel free to suggest any interesting applications or tools to cover next. I'd love to read your ideas. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week with another amazing paper.